Hey YouTube, Night Prowler here. And uh, this is something I'm sure there's a million videos on. I've seen a couple. But I uh, figured I'd bring out the SOG Flashhawk. Uh, I believe it's the Flashhawk. My kid got it for me for my birthday. And uh, I uh, really honestly have never used it. I mean, I've never gotten out and played with it. or I mean, I've played with it. I sharpened it up a little bit. Oh, hold on a second. Let me grab my coffee. Got to have my coffee. But um, I played with it a little bit. Ah, that's good. Um, played with it a little bit. And, um, I mean, I, I've played with it, but I never really actually tried to do anything with it. But um, I figured a couple things I'd show you if I can. I got my bag over there with some other stuff in it. Um, let's see, get this little thing. One thing that kind of bothers me, uh, the sheath is all right, but here's the problem. Um, you see the belt loop right here? That's actually not big enough for my belt. That's, uh, that doesn't fit my belt. I would rather if they had some kind of molly attachment, maybe, somehow. I don't know. Molly or somehow made that a little bit wider. Because I wear a 5'11 operator belt. And the that's just not good for me. It doesn't fit my belt. And uh, I took some 550 cord and just put it on there just so I had a little bit more of a handle. But let's see if I can get it out of there. There we go. But there are like several things I really like about this. One is, let's say you didn't have a knife. You could do, take your finger, sorry, not focusing. Take your finger, put it in there, and if you weren't videoing and doing stuff, you could use that as a, let's see, let's see if you're trying to pull out some sticks over there, <clears throat> stick this in between my legs, there we go, there we go, you could sit there, you know, you use that so you had a little bit more control over it, I would say, this is, as far as survival tool, it's very cool, and it's, you know, it's one of those, you know, tactical things. I'd say this is more of a defensive, you know, a defensive tool because there are some, you know, great features about it and it's better than nothing, but um, it, it's, you know, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna cut down, you know, trees with it. I mean, look how Look how big the blade is. I mean, you're not going to cut down trees with it. You're going to have a hell of a time trying to split any logs with it, you know, if you could. And, uh, you know, I mean, that spike going in there, that's a, let's say you, you know, something you were out dealing with some crap, you know, maybe you're in a survival situation or not, but, you know, that spike would be awfully handy. You know, you got into some CQB with something nasty. You know, that spike would do some damage. Um, like I said, it does, you know, it does do a lot, but as far as an actual survival tool, I don't know how handy it would be. I, I mean, like I said, if it, you know, maybe as a last ditch, you know, effort for a defensive purpose, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's lots of guys out there that, oh, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, but, you know, it, just to me, it's kind of a, for what I do, I mean, it'd be good to have, and that's why I do have it. I have it in my, uh, my backpack over here, but also in my backpack, I have the buck hoodlum with the saber saw, and, let's see, I've never really gotten into this, what I keep in here, but... I usually, like I said, it's been a while, and actually this bag usually just gets put in the Jeep and um, doesn't get taken out too often. Let me see if I can pull out some of the stuff I have in here. Okay, there's a little uh, Smith knife sharpener. Works in a pinch, wouldn't last forever though, I don't think. Little fire starter. Usually I have a Bic lighter in there, one of those black Bic lighters. Those are uh, 
that's to me you know a lighter is great to have it just saves so much energy and time in dealing with uh, making fires unfortunately I took it out because <laughs> I'm a jackass and this is my I guess get home bag or whatever but there's you know there's not a lot in here uh, there's a lot of stuff I've missed but there's a little uh, little light I'd just throw up there <sighs> toilet paper there's like I said there's not a ton of stuff in here I got some 550 cord in the bottom uh, a little hood bakla or whatever you want to call them it's a little longer so you can actually tighten it down keep your neck warm um, that's kind of handy if it was really cold got some fishing line in there but this is some real big stuff and actually I didn't buy it for fishing I bought it for uh, for setting traps and it wasn't like it was actually uh, detection traps it wasn't uh, wasn't like setting nooses or, or snares or anything like that some gorilla tape uh, I don't even know what this came off of uh, let's see what else I got in here and like I said this is all just kind of tossed in here I haven't really gone through everything Oh, here's some more stuff. This is a little more organized. I can pull this out. Uh, <laughs> a little outdated, but sure it still got some great information in there. Field and Stream. I used to get that a lot when I was younger. I get the magazines. Some tracking techniques. You know, animals. How to, you know, how to clean a fish. There's a lot of stuff in here, actually. How to clean a fish. You know, basic knot tying for fishing. And like I said, I don't actually have a fishing kit in here. I need to put one in. But, um... That's just what's in there. I'm just going to toss this stuff right here. And see... <laughs> back in 95. Wow. I even wrote keep on there, because... I was like, ah, I was going through all my magazines and I didn't want to, didn't want to get tossed. What else do we got in here? This might be a two-parter because, um, obviously, I have all these issues. But this is actually one of those uh, blankets. This is a heavy-duty one. It's a Mylar. I got it in green. Uh, we actually have three of these, these little survival blankets. And this is a heavy-duty, thick, solid, and... Uh, it's just good to have. You can make a shelter out of it if you had to. What else we got in here? Little uh, camo bandana. Threw that in there. Uh, I like to have this little sterno little uh, stove. You can see here. You can either take cans or you know actually make a little fire inside it all comes apart take that out oh uh, what else we have another little light right here this is actually one of the little work lights I used to carry on my uniform you know you got a like a black light or UV light and then you got an LED light uh, one flare and the suck thing is I don't even have my flare gun with me my flare gun's actually in the house. I had taken it out. Like I said, I was using that fishing line to set up some traps here. Because we're having a lot of problems right now with uh, dick wads cruising into our place. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Anything else even remotely interesting? Um, Nalgene, water bottle, plastic. I know some people, they prefer the... Um, <clears throat> the metal ones for boiling and stuff or the the metal canteens you get you, you know and that's great like I said this isn't done this is just stuff I grabbed and have but uh, I figured if I had to carry some water that's a good way to do it what do I got in this side sorry this is so uh, messy huh? uh, oh okay No. 
There we go. Now my volume's back. I have Fontana, some uh, f fire rescue stuff like that in there in the scanner. <sighs> you know, at least you can maybe. Sorry about that. I'm not going to bother trying to. Let's see. What else we got in here? And these things, you know, this was just one of those things that I wanted to grab and try. They're kind of actually worthless. This is a, what is this, SOS Survival Food Pack Lifeboat Ration. I just threw it in there because I actually wanted to try it, but I wanted to have something that didn't go, go bad. I'd love to throw an MRE in there. I think there's more uses with an MRE than there would be with that because... But I needed something that didn't spoil, you know, from exposure to, you know, time in the sun in the Jeep. Well, no, it wouldn't be time in the sun. It would just be being hot inside the Jeep. And if I didn't move it, it should still be in here. Let me see. I should have one more piece of gear. Like I said, this isn't all thought out. This is just some stuff I grabbed and threw in here. Oh, there it is. Uh, 9mm Taurus. And there should be, here we go, there's actually supposed to be a couple of these clips, uh, Met Guard clips, there should be a couple more in there, I don't know where the rest of them are. And then I got some loose rounds, and uh, the hell is all that crap on there? Is that just dirt? Huh, I guess it's just dirt. But, uh, let's see what else we got in here. Should be some loose rounds up here that I kept in this uh, pack this part here. Yep, there's they are. But, yeah. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh, yeah, a poncho. Just a little cheap green poncho. Like I said, this is nowhere near done. This isn't even the bag that I actually want to use because this is a, a cheap bag. This isn't a real high quality, you know, stand up bag. So I actually want to get a different backpack. But little poncho. That's pretty much what I have in here for now. Not a lot. But uh, yeah, I keep the Flash Hawk in there. But uh, I figured I'd get out and try and uh, screw around with some fire stuff just to see, you know, different things. So I guess, oh, it's a little hawk up there. Scared the hell out of me. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> but my, uh, it's my little, my little go bag. It's not a, it's not a complete, like I said, there's a lot missing. I know there's a lot missing, so don't text me or sending me a bunch of uh, messages saying, oh, you're missing this, you're missing that, you're missing this. I know, I know, I know. But I figured I'd just show you the just some of the stuff. All right, guys. Well, hey, I'm surprised to have 43 subscribers. But, uh, yeah, waving a hand at all of, you, uh, all of you out there. Actually, let me do it in the shadow. There we go. Waving a hand at you guys, all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. But yeah, just just a little stuff that I have just messing around with. So, all right guys, I'll catch you later. Night Prowler out.